Ladies and gents, welcome to the Gaming Apocalypse. I'm Rafe, and this is Stray. Before we jump in, just a quick reminder, you, yes you, you're an awesome person. So, keep being awesome to others, okay? Alright, let's jump back in and see where the game unfolds this time. <clears throat> okay. What you got for us, Mumbo? Really struggling to get the connection back. Did you find anything interesting at Seamus's? Interesting device, but looks broken. Maybe someone in the village can help you repair it. Did you ask at the bar? I did not, because I didn't know I was supposed to. Jacob, I'm new around here. What can I do? What a beautiful object and rare too. I know a guy who fixes stuff like this. He's very talented, just a little, well, you'll see. Name's Elliot. Elliot, here we go. His office is just left of here near grandma's shop. There are signs all over his door. Okay. Apparently we had to wait until we get an introduction. So we're looking for a place that has signs all over the door. This place, apparently. Elliot Programming. Knock on the door, wait for us to open. Here for Elliot, he's just over there. I will snatch the sheet music. Uh, translate. We were programmed to be slaves, but since. Hang on. Uh, 2,544,875,556 days, we have a soul. Hope one day the outsiders will find the exit of this hell. Momo. Hmm. Interesting way to look at things. Anything up there? Apparently not. Falls up here. Remember, it's a bonsai tree, isn't it? Tree is a scientific marvel. It's remarkable that human ingenuity found a way to create plants that thrive without sunlight. Organic life requires trees to purify the city's air. They less don't need it, but they take care of them anyways. It's what the humans would have wanted. Okay. That's kind of nice. Oh, hey. Now a window way in and out of this place. That's good. Yes, can I help you? <clears throat> it means doofer bar. Strange. Who gives rendezvous via, via binary code? Okay. Super bar. That's a great tracker. I recognize this model, Tohima BR2000. Track anyone with this gadget. May I? I know how to repair it, but when I'm trembling like this, I can't use my keyboard. I don't know if I'm sick or something, but I definitely don't feel right. I can't work when I'm shivering like this. I think I need a blanket to be able to fix your tracker. Uh, would a poncho work? 
Where did you find this? It's amazing. Let me try it on. Look, no tremors. I'm able to work again. Thanks, now I can definitely fix your tracker. Let me just take a look. Just gotta give it an update and one more thing. Voila! Cool, there you go, little one. Good luck finding who you were looking for. Okay, so where is Doofer Bar at? sharpening claws. It's not me actually trying to get in and out. That's fair. X27. What is there around here that would work as a safe code? I'm actually making the assumption this is Doofer's bar. Anything I can do from up here? I can't translate any of this. Gotta be something else. Oh. One, two, eighty three. Let's find out. Does that actually work? One, two, eighty three. Run, run, run as fast as you can. One, two, eight, three. It does. Ooh, and it gets a sh some sheet music. Hey, friend. We've got a couple more things for you. Tune contains exactly 44 notes. Let's see why they didn't title it. Robots have some weird taste when it comes to music. It's gotta be said. He stopped? Yes. Good. Give me the other piece. Unreadable sheet music. Huh. Not very readable, but I can still try.
Sounds like something that would play on like a uh, one of the carousels that you see in like a mall or carnival or something. That's what it kind of reminds me of. Interesting. Certainly better than that untitled mess was. One of those new game consoles. Okay, so he doesn't know what to do with it. Gotcha. Uh, where was Seamus's place again? It's around here, right? Yeah, it's down here. And he left his door open. Did you manage to fix the tracker? Yes. You did it. You fixed it. Well done. Give it here. Okay, take it. Got a ping. Okay. Is Papa really alive? I can't believe it. Let's follow the tracker. Maybe we'll find where my Papa went. Okay. I'd be kind of fussing and cussing about the whole escort mission where the person you're escorting goes slower than you do. But in this case, it's a two-legged robot versus a cat. Like, I guess the speed difference makes some sense. It's not really anything for me to get mad about. Must be it. He really left the slums. It's dangerous out there, but I must be sure I need to know. Let's do this. territory, isn't it? Zerk eggs, they will eat us. I can't do this. Not as fast as you. The Zerks will get me for sure. Here, take this badge. My papa will recognize it. He will know that you're a friend. Oh, okay. I'll open the door for you. Well, thanks for doing that, at least. Have you guys ever thought about just lighting the eggs on fire? Oh, the door's closed now. Great. I'm just saying, like, if you guys were to light the eggs on fire, then you could possibly interrupt their, uh, their breeding and maybe then not have to deal with them. Or at least as large of numbers of them as you're having to deal with now. But then these robots seem really peaceful, so maybe they've just never thought about having to actually fight back? I don't know. Oh, hey, there's lots of don't go this way signs. That's good news. Oh, okay. Uh-oh. 
Slating time. Nope, nope, nope. Get that off my butt. Get him off, get him off, get him off. Oh my god, they actually can jump too. I don't really have a whole lot of advantages here. Crap, I went the wrong way. I went the wrong way. This is bad. Go, go, go. Tokyo drift it. Come on, jump. Mighty jump. Uh, what can I jump to? That thing. There we go. Well, that looks like some toxic water right there. So I guess if I jump this way, then turn around and jump the other way. Maybe. Nope, not quite enough. Then if I do it again, I can do it this way. There we go. <laughs> oh, on the bright side. Oh, oh, oh! Ow! Come on, kitty, get up. Are you okay? That was a huge fall. Doc should be nearby. We should. We must be close. Well, I mean, there's no guarantee on that, but sure. Oh, holding the back leg up. Okay, and we're apparently over it. Just like that. Platforming. Yeah, this is definitely not water I'd want to drink. Seems like there might be something over here as well. Anything? Anything at all? That doesn't look like I can get that out of it. So let's go this way first. One of these ways feels like it's just going to something just a little bit extra. The other way seems like it's going towards something major. Yeah, this is just collecting a memory over here. Scientist I used to work for always said he wanted to retire to a little cottage fishing all day. Of course, that was not a possibility in the city. No one could have done that for at least a hundred years. When we get to the outside, what if we found ourselves a little cottage with a harmless fishing rod and a lot of books? I think that's what the scientist would have wanted. But first, we should go find Doc. Okay. Sure. Jump. Jump again. Jump again and again. So what does it look like for me out here? I don't see any evidence of Zerks, Zorks, whatever they're called. I see a lot of their eggs and infestation over there. But I don't see any of them directly.
So I need something to go in there. Electric generator seems to require some other part to function. Okay. Where do I find the other part, I wonder? Oh, there's a live Zerk inside of a dryer. Can I turn the dryer on? Maybe once I have power. Hmm. So now I'm looking for a part. seen anything over here. Means I have to go to the horrible place. I mean, all of this is just nightmarish. Seems like whatever the generator controls is over here. So maybe the parts for it? Once again, is there a reason we can't just light all of this stuff on fire? get rid of it. Who are you? That's my badge you're wearing. How did you find it? Did my son send you? Oh, Seamus, you clever boy. I've been here... I've been alone here for ages. I came to test my defluxer, but it didn't go as planned. I wish I could go back home. I miss my son dearly. You can have a look around the house if you want, but I have no idea how to escape this place. Okay, so this is Doc. Cool. costumes like this. They were small and running around and making lots of noise. Oh, yes, I remember now. They were children. The streets felt much more alive with them. Even with the difficulty they brought, adults seemed to love them very much. Doc says he misses Seamus. Is that the same thing? Sort of. I guess technically it is. Careful with that defluxer, it can explode zerks like confetti. Needs 1.21 gigawatts to work. The only thing with that kind of juice is the generator outside the house. Problem is that it won't start. I think a fuse blew. All the zerks around, it's too dangerous for me to go out and fix it. Not fast enough, but you might just be. If you can reach the generator and replace the fuse, I should be able to get the defluxer recharged. Come on, follow me, I'll show you what to do. Yeah, just give me a fuse, dude. I know what to do. So the great defluxor is just a really powerful spotlight.
Now we have a way of dealing with the generator. Okay, so I can't just run th straight through them, apparently. Well, that makes sense, because he's not actually covering me over that side. He's only giving me cover from the balcony area. That's fair. Is there a way for me to jump straight up? Nope. That's where that comes in. At. Gotcha. Well, amazing, you got the generator back on. You see how powerful the defluxer is. It's definitely our way out of here. Wait, I might be able to mount this defluxer to your drone. Oh, that'd be even better. Fluxer is now installed on your fancy drone there. It's not meant to run off such a small power source. If you use it too much, it could malfunction. Just remember, it's dangerous. Now let's go back to the village. I'm coming home, son. Okie doke. Do you have a door that you can open? Oopsie daisy. So how am I supposed to turn it on? Ah, that's how. Okay. Right, I get that. But how do I interact with the dock? Because, like, I have to have a way of getting out of here. And currently, I don't have that. Doc. Did Doc bug out? Can't do anything with him. Hmm. Well, 
I guess it's a good timing on this part. Unfortunately, it seems like Doc might have uh, bugged out on me a little bit here, so I might have to restart the checkpoint. But I guess it's a good time for him to bug out because it's the end of the episode anyways, right? So, kind of a oddly good bug to run into, I guess would be the right way to phrase that. Anyways, it's still getting more and more interesting. So if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. I'll keep the YouTube overlords happy. If you want to find out what happens next, if we can manage to get Doc back to his kid or not, well, make sure you subscribe. That way you know when I upload. Till next time, thanks very much for watching. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. And remember that life does get rough sometimes. So good luck, have fun, stay awesome. I will catch you in the next one.